usually <laughs> take two. Usually we do it all in one take. This is the first time I've ever. Are you nervous? I think I am. I don't know why. <laughs> like you guys are like, you know, we're tight. So. <laughs> I know we, 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 we're peas in the pot over here. Yeah. Shake it out. Shake it off, Greg. Come on, Greg. Shake it off. All right. Welcome to the show. I'm with the Texas Fashion Awards winners. Tori Sledge and Dominique Ruffin. Dominique won for Model of the Year. Tori won for Photographer of the Year. We just had the awards Friday night. It's now the following Tuesday evening, and we're here to talk about it. So it's real fresh. It's hot Absolutely. on the plate. Yeah. All right. Still first, in it. Yeah. First thoughts. Uh, I'll let Dominique go first. Your thoughts on the win. Tell me what you were thinking when they announced your name. Um, I manifested that, so um, I was expecting it, but I also was very surprised. Like, I sc scrimped at the top of my lungs. I was screaming at the top of my lungs when, like, scrimped. yeah. Scrimped? You, you had a doubt? Uh, no, but you don't want to be, like, overly, like, it's mine, it's in the bag. Like, you don't want to be cocky or arrogant. You just, like, you want to manifest it. You want to speak life into it, but... I didn't want to be like, oh, I already got it. Like, you know, I was confident in myself, but I didn't want to be arrogant or rude about it. Yeah. So whenever they were like, and the nominees are, I was like fixing my skirt so I could stand up. I was like, okay. And then I heard my name and I still was like, I think you got it on your camera. I was like, <laughs> like. Yeah. yeah, no, I definitely, I got tons of good pictures of that moment, which yeah. is exciting. Yeah, I can't wait to get, that's kind of why I'm waiting to post because I want to get the, Photographers' pictures and stuff too. Let's get up close to the mic so we can hear you real good. Here, I'm gonna move it towards you a little this bit is awkward more. Now, right. I feel like. Yeah, you can scooch up if you need. See, we got this tall is why people now. I didn't now, want to be in the right? middle yeah. because I'm the tallest one, but uh, no one listens to the model in the air. So just so we know, and Mr. Photographer of the Year was taking photographs of the show while he was also nominated. Yeah, right. I, well, actually, you know, I wasn't. I, I wasn't meaning to take photos of the awards. What happened was um, one of the performers, uh, Shannon Sanoa, mm -hmm. she asked me to take pictures of her performance, which was, you know, right before, I guess, the announcing of the photographer of the year. Because, okay. you know, you, I mean, you were there, like, they never really kind of like say like what we're about to do. They kind of just automatically, oh, we're about to give photographer they the year. They don't post an itinerary. Yeah, they don't post an itinerary of when you're going to do it. So I think I was actually... I was like showing photos to Shannon and then kind of taking photos of Dom. And it was Dom who actually was like, you know, was like, Dory, 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 you about to go. And I'm like, and you know, I don't even have my, my, my suit jacket on. I have my camera. I'm sweating. I look horrible. Right, like right. I was not ready. And then luckily, like by the time they even, they called my name, I, I was just trying to put my jacket on, you know, and I didn't even know if I was going to get it or not. So I was like, am I just preparing? Like, am I... Am I going to get it? Am I going to walk up there? Do I just look foolish? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm putting my jacket on, getting ready, and then right. they're like... Not you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, that has, that's the, you know, the worst feeling of just like... Right, right. And people see you, too. You know, they see yeah. you on the side of just like, yeah, yeah, okay. Not you. That's why I was trying to be discreet with my skirt. I was like... Right. Yeah. And then I screamed. I was like, oh, You're supposed God. to be like, oh, me? I didn't even have my jacket on. Right. Where is it? Let right. me put it on first. And then what even made it worse was like, I was hoping that the pr first person who got their award, they just kind of got their award and left. Mm -hmm. But like, they started speaking at the very beginning. And so I was like, oh, crap. So yeah. if you if you win, you got to you gotta gotta speak. Say a little you got to say something. And I've been thinking about it this whole like past month of like, what am I going to say? Mm-hmm. I thought I had something, and by the time I got up there, all out the window. It just went went away. I was like, uh-oh. First words were, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, how many times are you going to say, wow, Dom? Like, okay. Now, did you have something prepared? Not no. at all. Not at all? I knew I was going to wing it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to wing it. But I... I would have to have something, better than a I few expected. points in my head, at least. You I know. thought I was going to... I touched on mental health, but I literally said I only had, I had an anxiety attack. I didn't realize... I didn't, like, recap why I touched on that. It was right. supposed to be like, you know, I'm a real strong advocate for mental health. It's okay to talk mm -hmm. about these things. Didn't touch on that at all. Absolutely. So I was thinking, like, <laughs> thankful to my supporters and my haters. I made that point. You did. And I was like, okay, cool. We went on to that. I was going to thank my family. Thank God. Missed the whole mental health part. Yeah. I knew the point. So <laughs> but we kinda, tell us the points now, then. That you wanted to make that you missed okay during the, the award show when you won I, like i said i didn't have anything prepared but i wanted to touch on mental health because not only like it like just how important it is like i'm in graduate school to become a licensed professional therapist i um work at ut health in the psychiatry department so i'm in the mental health like field I, i'm an advocate for mental health and it's very important and on, not only that like i you know have gone through my own mental health you know 
conditions and things like that. And so I really wanted to touch on that and how I'm doing all these things, but I'm also making time for my passion. And that's what people should do. They chase your dreams. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're only going to be this age today. <laughs> like, we're only getting, you know, more farther into life and just like stuff like that. No, I don't want to say older because you get more wiser. mature. More mature. Yeah, more, that's more why mature. I was maturing. I was speaking of myself. Wiser. Yeah. Yes. Greg, you don't age. Wiser, wiser don't for age. sure. Wiser. <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to touch on that. And, you know, I touched on pretty much everything else that I wanted to, but I wanted to tie those two together and how, like, it doesn't matter how busy life can get and how crazy and hectic life can seem like you can still try to put time and effort towards your passion because that could be your relief away from what's going on in life at least you touched on your points like i touched <laughs> none of mine it sounded good <laughs> it, it sounded, it sounded, good. sounded yeah. amazing sounded good. um yeah no I, I touched on none of my points now were you surprised yeah. that you won i wasn't that's just like a loaded question. Greg. It's such a loaded really question, you know, like, it's like, how humble can you be? Yeah. You like, know what I'm saying? Where do you want to win at all? I'll say it like this. Well, I mean, did you think that there's no way in the world I'm going to win? Let me put it that way. No, no. Okay. I, I definitely knew I had a foot in the, the race, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. I know for me from last year, right? I remember, you know, me and you talked about this a little bit where last year we kind of looked at the candidates and the people who, what we were doing in photography and it's always hard when it comes to like certain awards like this, because you can always see people that we as a community feels like, how come this person wasn't named? You know, like what, what was it about? What was the rubric or what was the criteria that these people were there and other people, it seemed like they, they just weren't even in the running. Yeah. Right. And so, so this year fr from last year, this year, um, my goal from last year was more of how do who or who do I have to become for myself as a photographer to be seen in that light? Yeah, to fit that criteria. To fit that criteria. Did you ever figure out what the criteria was? None at all. No, just asking for a friend. <laughs> no, <right. laughs> you know, because you know, maybe. Um, no, I, I don't even know. And what was even more crazy was, and what I wanted to hit on was actually like the journey that. I took and I didn't realize that it was going to lead me where it got. And, and I, I think what's crazy is like, I can even see it the same in Dom because me and Dom met the, for the first time last year in 2022, like Jan December, 2021, 20, December, January, Fashion 2021, um, Fashion Week or uh, right after? Yeah, it was like, oh, it was the Christmas party, the, the Christmas party. Christmas party. Yeah. And um, I know that we were kind of similar in similar places in the sense of like where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do. And we both had like different journeys. But that journey consisted of changing who we were and how we operated. Right. And it's odd that it led us both to, you know, winning this, this award. Is, that's something that we wanted to put on our resumes. Um, for me personally, I actually, during the year, stopped kind of looking at the goal as being photographer of the year and just looked at what do I want to do as a photographer and how do I want to interact with people and how much I value what I do. Right. Right. And, and I started putting a lot more value on my work mm -hmm. and making people see my value. And if they don't, then being okay, walking away from places that don't value me as high as I value myself. Right. Um, do you think that uh, during the, I noticed a change in your photography, um, you know, there's the the fashion photography side. There's only so much you can do with that. It's people walking um, or the live fashion shows, mm -hmm. right? Fashion show photography, I should say. Right. So there's only so much you can do with that. But I noticed the the photography that you posted outside of that um, seems like it it developed somewhat um, into more of a like you're you're more trying to tell a story than just take a picture of someone. Absolutely, a hundred percent. I I would say that. This year was really me trying to jump into the stories of what I was seeing okay. in my art. Um, you know, not, not necessarily being photojournalistic, but being that if I have a model or if I have a idea, what is the story behind this, this capture, behind this image? It's not just, oh, a model's in a nice dress. Well, let's make it a scene. Let's make it a, she has a background. She has a... She has a, a, a history, how she interacts with her own world. There is a story there. And I think I play from my uh, like theater arts and acting uh, background growing up, where it's like I wanted 
this person to be more than just a person in a photo. I wanted this person to be on a stage every time I take a photo of that person. Right. And so yeah. that's what I started trying to do more of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed it. Thank you. Actually. Thank it, you. Big, big progression, I would say. Thank you. Dominique, what, what did you do to, did you do anything to adapt uh, to make yourself fit that criteria that you thought that maybe they were looking for as model of the year? Um, yeah, I don't really think there's like a huge criteria. criteria. <laughs> um, I really just feel like the way you conduct yourself as a person in general really speaks louder than anything. Like you're, what's the saying? Your energy speaks before you do when you walk in a room or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I really just took that and I really expanded on that because I know that the connections I had prior to this award were meaningful and genuine connections. And so I really just found that opportunity to get more in the community, um, show up to different events, network. I'm big on networking and like professionalism and just, yeah, have a good time, enjoy yourself, have fun, but also like time and a place for everything. Right. So I really just took that and like ran with it. And the skills that I've learned <clears throat> in my former years <laughs> of modeling Eleven. as well. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, what, what were some of those skills? Um, some of the things that I've mentioned so far, like mm -hmm. professionalism, knowing, you know, how to conduct yourself in, mm -hmm. in different environments, like whether you're backstage or at a casting or at a networking event or you're at a fashion show, like how do you conduct yourself in that, mm -hmm. in that room? Um, how to network, how to like, you know, model things like posing, runway, stuff like that. And then even getting into different like coaching and things like that. Like I've done a lot of different, like ex I've had a lot of different experiences throughout my journey that has really prepared me to just, when I think of a model of year, I think of a role model and somebody that I could look up to. And um, within the past, you know, a few years of Texas Fashion Week and the TFIA, like, you know, the awards and everything, mm -hmm. I've seen that progressively just get better and better and better. And so I'm like, okay, well, let me see how I can put myself um, in that category, like you said, or that criteria. And right. um, so how can not I expand only on that? Learned skills, like learn, learn your craft mm -hmm. for one, right? Um, it's also soft skills, right? Talking right. to people, networking, mm -hmm. putting yourself out there, mm -hmm. right? So there's multifaceted I it, guess you very say. much so. and I would say giving back like I, I feel like watching Dom Dom has given back so much in this past year and year and a half mm -hmm. to upcoming models and not even just models but people who want to have that presence that Dom shows a yeah. lot I, I can't even move through any of our community without models anytime that Dom's name is mentioned people light up and like oh that girl right there oh my god like she yeah. has the best walk or the way that she she positions or who she is as a person um always comes up in conversation nonstop. right you know uh -huh. and that that's a testament of like of who Dom has become yeah in the past year and a half um I, I would say I, I would agree yeah. With that. yeah yeah watching um I know when when uh, I started the fashion reaction for Qantas, uh, Quantum Lotus Labs um I wanted to give back to up and coming models. And I remember like thinking of like, okay, some of these models are runway, uh, want to be runway models. You know, who would I feel comfortable with, you know, definitely showing them the way. Right. Um, and Dom was, <laughs> it, it wasn't even a question. <laughs> I didn't I even like, have to nah, think about it. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, she didn't even want to do it at first. Like that's what I had to talk her into like, <laughs> Dom, you're this person, like you are the person. Um, but you've been modeling for like, what did you say? 11, since you were, 12 yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> 12 years. I met this one when I was like, what, 10 years of modeling, a decade of it. It's been a while. I've been through a lot of experiences. Yeah. Good, bad, ugly, gorgeous, glamorous. So how does it feel to get recognized, both of you? Go ahead. No, no, no. You go first. You have a long, drawn-out answer. No, I don't. Oh. I have not, I don't He's going to say a speech that he had planned. For the I was going to say a speech that I had planned. <laughs> I was actually going to point that out because I wanted to, like, also mention during my speech on the stage that these things don't happen overnight. So a lot of people can feel discouraged and like, mm. oh, I've been modeling for three years and I just, or or even five years, and I just can't seem to like. That's why I mentioned how many times I've tried to quit. <laughs> <laughs> because I get fed up and it's just like, I know I have this talent. I know I have this craft and I want to show the world, but who's looking at me, you know? And it really doesn't matter. It's really about you and your craft and your passion. But anyways, yes, I say that to say <laughs> this journey, it, things like this don't happen overnight. So it feels good to finally 
even feel like the slightest bit, not even the slightest. I get recognition all the time for my supporters in my community, but to feel it on this magnitude and this level just feels like, okay, I'm definitely headed in the right direction. This is definitely meaningful and purposeful in my life. And it's meant to be. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, like Dom said, for me, the fact that I am relatively, I want to say I'm new to photography, but as far as working in the photography field, I'm relatively new. I'm There's a lot of photographers that have been in this game for way longer than I have that I would say definitely have other skills that I, I, I mean, Greg, you're, you're one of the prime examples for me where it's like, I'm always looking at your stuff. I'm always seeing how you've changed your lighting, changed your post editing, your post processing. Um, how did you make your setup? I'm, I'm on your YouTube tutorials, you know, just like, oh, okay. I see how Greg did that. You know, not, you know, of course, not trying to ever steal anything of what you do, but definitely incorporate it into what and how I can be better. Well, that's you, how I learned. Yeah. And you know, so watching others. Exactly. So, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful to be recognized because you, as you know, there are so many long hours, you know, so much time behind the scenes, the, the nights that I don't even sleep because it's like, I want to edit these pictures and then I don't like my edit. And then it's like, okay, can I change the color here? You know, will the people that I'm giving this photo to, will they like it? You know, so many ups and downs in just trying to create something beautiful or something that I I am happy to put my name on, that to have this recognition to me, it's like, okay, I think I'm doing something correct in the sense of that people like and enjoy my work. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it was definitely like a sigh of relief more so to get that yeah 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 what do you do with it now yeah. now that you've got it what Hold what's that piece. The... shine that bad boy up and put it on the shelf <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question every that's a, a couple Does people create a lot of pressure for you a do little you bit feel like you got to follow that up now i do mm-hmm. like did i like i wanted to definitely get some some sleep tonight greg but I was like, a model of the year is going to go and do that podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's in the back of my head every time. Like, okay, model of the year is going to go and show up to these events and fashion shows and come help. Yeah. And, and I, I appreciate I, that you showed up. Thanks for that, having me. That means me, a lot to me. Thank both you for of having you came me. Out. Definitely, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. You already know. You, you ask we, us to do something, we're there. We do something yearly. This is yeah. maybe our yearly thing. I don't think yeah. so. I think it's we need tradition to go do something. At this point. We got to go shoot another. We got to shoot some more. This is our family tradition. I would say I'm trying to not feed into that mental state of like, oh my God, okay, what, I have to always be at the top of my game. You know, um, I think, uh, who is that? Peter McKenna actually just came out with like a little uh, video talking about that when it comes to photography, our best work is not always on. And, yeah. And, yeah. Be- and because photography is so subjective, you know, we have to, as photographers or as artists, we have to kind of stop um, living into this mindset of that, Every photo has to be the most magnificent photo we ever took. It's got to be a banger. It's got to be a banger. Right. It's got to. I got to. I got to drop this, and the lighting has yeah, to be yeah. right, not and the banger. eyes. You know, I gotta. I gotta re-edit my eye. You know, and that's. Yeah, that's how I can you, promise you, they're not all bangers. They're not all yeah. bangers. Oh my goodness, <laughs> liars! <laughs> oh, I got no bangers. Greg will this send week. me five hundred <laughs> pictures and be like, pick twenty, and I'm like, three months later, all right, Greg, I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're all bangers. Sets. Yeah, they still have to go through. Every yeah. time y'all shoot, she come like she instantly. Every time she sees me, she's like, look at these. He's like, what do you think? And I'm like, uh, they're both all of them. good. All of them. <laughs> um, but but, but tr- you, you got to recognize, though, that it's completely different styles. Exactly. Right? There's no um, better, me better than you. It's completely different. Right. Right? And that's right. the thing about photography. It's like you can have the same. We could shoot with the same camera and the same lens, and we would get yep. a completely different result. Absolutely. Right? And yeah. and that's what I'm actually been learning a little bit too more into it is more is is the fact that some of the photos <laughs> I think this the the hardest thing as a photographer is where you like put all your time into a photo and mm-hmm. you're like oh my god like this is about to drop <laughs> panties bro like this oh like I'm about to drop this and I'm about to be instant it's famous PG thirteen <laughs> and and you you know you you show the pictures and the one that you like worked all your time on it's not picked and like somebody your your client or whoever they like the one where it's like oh i went with this black and white in the shadow and they can't see half their face those are the ones but it, it, <laughs> it's weird how like sometimes those are the ones that are yeah. more heartfelt right you know and so really diving more and that's why i think i feel like i changed up what i do 
because at first I was like, okay, I got to edit this so well. I got to edit correctly the lighting, the colors, the color theory. Let me learn all yeah. this. Are thing. you shooting for yourself or someone else? Right. 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 And actually, I got to the point where it was like, I want to just make something that people feel in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that deeper shadow. Yeah. You don't see the person's eye because it goes back to what is the story that I'm trying to create. Right. Um, and so that that has that's why I'm trying to not fall into the hype of okay I got this award now I have to be always you know at the top of my game I have to if a photographer comes and needs help I got to be like yeah you want to do that just relax balance balance any trash talking before the awards between, between the, us the, no between the oh nominees. I was gonna say I was I was in Dom's face like yeah, yeah no I no. mean no we don't uh, look between the there. models the photographers any trash talking. <sighs> No, nah, nah? we don't do that okay. over here, sweets. For for me, no. Keeping it classy. Yeah, yeah. Always classy. You know, Always cordial. I, Always I, classy. I feel for me, like, this past year has been a learning of grace, mm -hmm. of being, like, not necessarily the bigger person, but more of, like, you know what? I'm going to move in a constructive manner no matter what. You know, so I'm not going to tear down anybody ever. I'm just going to yeah. push forward. Right. Now, would you? Now, I say this often. <laughs> now, if it's the truth and your feelings get hurt, Hey, <laughs> the truth hurts, but I'm not going to sit down and talk trash about anybody. You know what I'm saying? If that's what's actually happening in the situation, it is what it is. Yeah. If you can hold yourself accountable, cool. If we can have some conflict resolution, cool. If not, cool. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've learned to like, you, like balance and boundaries were my two like major words going into the year. I always mm -hmm. try to pick one or two, but yeah. And that I've been practicing both of those. But I will say you come at me with the heat. Look. We gonna have problems. I'm like, the same want, way. Yeah, you you come at me with yeah. some with you, trash talk. You, you know who I got a problem with, and and my problem is <laughs> oh, not if they tell the they talk about me and they tell the truth. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I can accept that. Absolutely. Right? If they talk trash about me and it's a lie, that's my then issue. you will never be forgiven. Right. Like once you get on my bad side, I never forget. I hold a grudge till the day I die. What's your sign, Greg? Uh, Capricorn. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yep. <laughs> That'll but, do it. But yeah, right. I try not to create okay. animosity. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and I wouldn't mention that person either. I got a couple people that are on my, you know, Absolutely. Yeah. Shit yeah, we, we there, all have but, a, yeah. You know, they know who they are. Yeah. For, for me, is it's how I do it is just that I I have a couple people like that in the industry. Um, and sometimes we still end up having to work together yeah. around things. And I just keep it professional. It's better just not to say anything. Right. I, I keep it work. professional. And then mm -hmm. after that, you know, yeah. keep it moving. So professionally, segue, professionally, I would say creatively and professionally speaking, both of you have some things going on besides being a photographer, you model a little bit, but you model a little bit, you've got a, something coming up or it may have already started the lavish model development, right? Mm -hmm. And Tori, you're very multifaceted. You're involved in a lot of things. So I'll let Dom go first. You tell me All about it. Right, I've gone first every time. All right, go so for it. you go for it. Oh. Are we just talking Tori's about very multidimensional? Oh, you have a lot of things I'm going on, right? I, entrepreneur. I, I hate myself. I think that's what it really comes down to. <laughs> not, not literally, but figuratively, where that I just like to, I think I get it from my mom, like I'm just a workaholic. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not working, then I feel like I'm sick, like something's wrong. Um, yeah, I still, I still have my, my tutoring business, Tutors for You. Mm -hmm. So we have a K through 12 tutoring all across San Antonio that my model, uh, my models, my uh, tutors uh, go and travel around. Um, before COVID, we used to hold a lot of classes for like AP, SAT. Right. Um, and now it's kind of like now that post COVID, we're kind of revamping uh, that Quantum Lotus Labs, which is kind of like an all around branding, mm -hmm. um, branding and marketing. Gaysa House with uh, my business partner, Sage. Uh, is is really her baby that I kind of helped and jumped in where we do fashion production um, as well as fashion branding mm -hmm. for for retailers for designers uh, as well as produce fashion shows for different designers or or sometimes even our own fashion shows like we just did one um, called the Gaysa House Conscious Collective um, which kind of hosted um, different brands and different designers who look at sustainable fashion yeah. and we did that at Paramore which was amazing event. Um, so that was great. As well as now I'm kind of um, also helping out with the Higher Media Collective, um, oh. which kind of helps with staffing creatives in different, um, you know, staffing photographers, uh, models, promoters, 
Yeah, we just followed each other yesterday, actually. Yeah. Coincidence that you mentioned. Oh, that. perfect. Yeah. yeah, and and that's our that's the goal of the Higher Media Collective is to help staff these events where mm-hmm. it's like, oh, there's a corporate uh, gig that's going on and they need people to bartend and, and take pictures or maybe they need somebody to, um, you know, what is that, the beer and wine promotions. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the goal of the Higher Media Collective. And yeah. we're still in the early phases of it. Um, but yeah, that's something else that I, I... Do you ever take a day off? You'll never know. <laughs> you won't be able to tell. You won't right? be able to tell. <laughs> Dumb. All right. So I'm not doing all of that. I'm just, like I said, I work full time. I'm in graduate school full time. And I also just launched my baby, uh, my business, Lavish Model Development. Um, so it is like your one stop shop for any coaching and development you might need. Um, I have different packages and there's a custom package where you can go in and pick out the different services that you need or you feel like you would like to work on. Um, and then we go from there, but it's more it, way more to me than just like, let me make some money because modeling don't pay the bills. Okay. It's more than that. To me, it's really just like, I've been through out of my 12 years, I've been through things that people shouldn't have to take 12 years to learn. And I feel like with me, you know, starting up coaching with QLL and kind of just figuring out like, Hey, I, I did go to school to be a teacher and though I'm not teaching. I went to school to be a teacher. So me just having like a natural like way of helping and like wanting to like kind of coach and teach people. It's like, oh, well, why not give this a shot? And then it aligns perfectly with everything else I have going on in my life. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a gist about that. But, um, you know, Greg took my shots, my business, um, you know, my marketing shots. So it just comes it comes down to me picking out those 20. You still haven't picked out? I have. I have. (laughs) But Greg sent them to me, and then I have like five more that I want to be like, hey, Greg. You just got to remind me yeah. that I got to go back and get some more. And then to I got to post them and then pick out which ones I want to post first. You still first. haven't picked out your digitals that we did like a year ago. Now I need new digitals. Okay. So but those are fire. Again. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's my that's my little baby, um, lavish model development. I'm definitely like helping with model coordinating and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Buy your tickets for the Interior Design Meets Fashion Show because Ooh, I'm yeah. we're going to be in there Absolutely. lavishing it up. All right. Fun question. Uh Uh-oh. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I'm not going first. I'm trying to think. If I had one superpower, um... I got it. (laughs) Okay, you go. True freedom. Expand on that. Freedom is in, like, when I think of freedom, I think of freedom of time, finances, and, like ability like i can literally just if i want to take a pj to a different country for a month i can do that um i'll have the time freedom the money freedom and the space freedom to do that that's a good one one. mine would be like uh instant comprehension (laughs) (laughs) i know right (laughs) well i think there's a lot of people that would benefit from that they would (laughs) but i just i just want to be able to like if i like there was a book i just want to touch it and just be like absorb all of the ideas like just boom instantly know how to work it into my life into the world yeah just, you know yeah i hear i hear something and then it's like instant download like well now they're tapping into your brain right when you're downloading the internet they're, yeah they're working not my brain. I, I can't right, wait yeah. like i'm like musk elon musk like go ahead i'll be one of your first people not like, my brain let's Mr. put musk. this brain in there right let's, let's put that little brain chip in there just bloop 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 bloop, bloop download it no thank you no I'm old school. Imagine my photos. I like I, that. Imagine my photos. My AI. I won't even have to do anything. I just think it, and my photos would yeah. exist. We're, we're giving each other tips on AI, right? Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. you know. I mean, a lot of people are scared of AI as far as with photography and everything, but we're we're think. I know both of us are. I we, know you. Yeah. And you're thinking the same way. How can I integrate this in with real? Absolutely. Work. Even work, even with right? models. Like so. Yeah. So one of the one of the frameworks that I've been working on in the background is looking at how ai changes the fashion mm-hmm. fashion as a retail but also fashion shows and how we do it and you know this is something that i kind of want to integrate with models where it's like we could models could in a sense get an ai of themselves mm-hmm. and make money as an ai virtual she, she's model. against this i can tell she's shaking her head but, it's but. like 
factory workers and then the robots came in and took all their jobs that is the exact same thing that's going to happen with models I've and this seen, ai yeah. stuff i've, I've already seen, seen some it. instagram already seen pages it. that are mm -hmm. models and they're ai models i'm not right. mm -mm, i can't yeah. I'm now we all came back and we're all in different positions right because uh, there was a <laughs> catastrophic failure but we've got it under control right? we're professionals yeah nothing but professionals here and we're back we forgot to push the <laughs> <laughs> No, Actually, I, I we forgot to record. push record Lens at cap. the very beginning. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Lens cap. It'd <laughs> right. be like that sometimes. Okay. You know, well, I, every shoot, I'm like, oh, shit, the lens cap. The lens. Take that okay, we're ready now. Still do that to this day. Yeah. But, yeah, talking about the first time we met. It, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's funny because. It like, was I, Sage's. I think it was one of her first fashion shows that she produced, too. It was the first African market. Yeah, exactly. It was Dream yeah, Week. That's what it was. It was, Dream Week. That's that's what what it was. <laughs> wow. And there was models coming in from four different directions, right? So it wasn't like easy just shooting down on a stage. No. They were coming from everywhere. Everywhere. The light. There was no lighting. I think there was like no. th either. I think I brought a strobe. Yeah. And I tr I thought it was just going to be one way, and then yeah, we were here. So there was only an instant where they were in the light <laughs> that we had to <laughs> shoot, and then it was just instant shadow. Yeah. 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 That was. Oh my goodness, a cluster. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah that's, it was a good time. Though. Do, so do, we, we instantly hit it off. Then, we did. Right? That, we did. And we've, every time we've seen each other ever since then. It's been, no, been Greg, I, I, I enjoy I enjoy working around you. Like like I, I said in, I think, in my speech where it's just like, you know, there are a ton of photographers that are truly talented here in San Antonio. And I don't think we give San Antonio enough credit of the talent that we possess. Um, but, yeah, you are definitely one who's up there where if I see you at an event, I'm just like, we're about to have a good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's going to yeah. be good. Gonna we're be at good. shenanigans for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Dom and I met on the paint shoot. The paint shoot. The Cynthia. iconic paint shoot. Cynthia was doing that, right? Mm, Cynthia. And yeah. Well, I'll post a photo of that, but um, you had brought paints and you were just starting, you had like on a, like a, what was it? Like a latex white dress, white. I think. Yes. White. I brought three looks. They were all thrifted the thrift queen so i went and thrifted out three looks and i was like we gotta get creative i gotta show people who i am so we got the dollar paints from hobby lobby grabbed some paint brushes and then we found this like yeah like a latex white dress and so it just started going crazy with the paint yeah. but it all came off so i can wear the dress again yeah, yeah. we've that's, been shooting ever since that's actually yeah. how i knew of dom was that shoot, paint shoot. was a lot the of paint people shoot. found out about me like, paint shoot. i remember uh, seeing that and i was like oh my gosh who is this model like I need to shoot with her. I need. Little did I know that it would be just the most hectic pain in my ass relationship <laughs> that I probably <laughs> like. They come in and they argue more than me <laughs> and my wife. And my wife little, little, did, little did I know that. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus, just yeah. this guy can't live without me. Oh man, working, working. Anyways, you told your long drawn out story about when you met Greg. Also, shout out to Nani Mel, my former mm. model of the year, and also how I started to notice Greg and Cynthia's work was through her in August posting Cynthia's work, and then of course she worked with Greg a lot. So I was like, you know what? Because in the modeling world, you realize that there are a lot of creeps, and you have to go and see what friends have worked with different photographers to see is this guy a creep and find out. So, of course, I went and I found him and I was like, okay, well, Nani's work with him, August, um, a couple of people I knew. And I was like, okay, well, let me ask Nani. I'm the closest with her. She's like, oh, my God, I love Greg, blah, blah, blah. He's very professional. I was like, oh, perfect. And then Cynthia said the same thing. So then we ended up collabing on the um, paint shoot and it was just like, now we're all besties. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then our full, you know, our full on collab when we went out to Bernie Lake. We yeah. almost got mm -hmm. eaten by leeches. There were. It, she... I think there was one leech maybe in the lake. Or were there, yeah. Have you ever seen leeches in the lake? No. Yeah. Like, really? Why was I not aware of that? No. Even Justine, talk, Justine, comment on this video when you hear about these leeches because you know there was leeches out I, there. I saw something strange swimming in the water, but I don't know. It might have just been like a little, little one of those water snake? frog things. Oh, yeah. even little better. Tadpole. <laughs> Tadpoles, yeah. <laughs> but I would say like those photos are some are like amazing yeah. that we took. Uh, yeah. yeah. We had fun that day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you times. know, almost, you know, yeah. holding on to the light with the wind before it oh, falling yeah. to the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, that was a crazy day. That was fun. So we're going right. to do another one, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know cool. if it'll be at the lake. If we do, we got to do it soon. No, it's cold already. And that water was cold. It was hot today. No, it wasn't. It but rained you're, today. You're a professional. You Come are also on, a professional yeah, whose battery died. <laughs> I'll be up to my knees, maybe. I'll bring the long lens. I'll be the, like, you're good. You're good. Stay in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah and I yeah. was floating towards the middle of the lake, and they were like, you're fine. <laughs> Keep going. 
yeah no so it's, it's always good working around this group yeah absolutely all right i want to thank you guys absolutely. for being on the show the shot podcast make sure to check out the shot boom 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 how's that can you use me for the rest of the please, yeah please edit edit that out no, that has to I'm be on I'm going to add a bunch of reverb on it. Yeah. It'll be like the pow yeah. stuff. I'm like or just that. cut do, me do, out. Do, 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 I don't want to be shot, a part shot, of that shot. shot. That was weird. Was it? It was weird. Should I do it again? Um, Follow me at Dominique underscore Ruffin and Lavish Model Development. Oh, you were throwing out shout outs? Oh, and me. um, At the underscore quantum underscore Lotus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. <laughs> Arrogant or confident? <laughs> <laughs> wow, why are you gonna hit me with that, Greg? Um, you know what? I, I would say confident. I, I know myself. I, I'm confident. I'm, no, I'm humbly confident. I was messing with you. Yeah, no, all good. Any, anybody that meets him for the first time, you might get that impression he's just confident. He's not arrogant. There's I, a big difference. Then you get to know him, and you're like, oh, this mother trucker. Well, there's other adjectives as well. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that we can give. Him I that. I try. I try to. I try to try to balance, like Dom said. Um, you know, I think I think in this profession, regardless if you're model, creative, photographer, you have to have some type of confidence behind in what you do, or mm -hmm. else you won't progress. Oh yeah. Even if you don't know what you're doing, pretend that you do yeah. with the utmost confidence, and you'll go out. People are not going to question you. Absolutely. Well, until they see the photos, yeah. they might question you. But you know, actually, funny story. That's yeah. how I shot my first fashion show. Yeah. Really, was yeah. I, I happened to be? It was 2019. San Antonio mm -hmm. Fashion Week was going on, and I had no clue. And I was out in Hemisphere Park, mm -hmm. and I was shooting birds and squirrels. Mm -hmm. At the You're time. like, yeah, I do fashion shows. What? It wasn't even <laughs> like that. Events. Sh sure. Birds. It, well, I didn't even get asked. Kids. Bird shows. I just, I, I just happened to be out there at Hemisphere Park. And there was like an event like getting set up and I was just kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? And some girl runs up to me. She's like, oh no, all the photographers are supposed to be in the media box. And she's like, over there. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> abs on over there. so I was just like, yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, duh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> had no clue it was even a fashion show until it started. Like I just saw all the, and you know, all the photographers that we like know today, they had all, right. all their, their nice cameras. Like yeah. I remember Clint, Clint, if you watch this, I remember you bro with your little hand flash. I will never forget this. Um, and I just I had, remember him. You remember yeah, with yeah. the wire and he's you got the thing. Yeah. And I was like, "What is that?" Yeah. So he, had, I remember he had that that year. And again, I was so new to photography that I had my my Nikon D fifty one hundred with the kit seventy to two hundred lens. Yeah. No flash, no nothing. Just I got to aim this way. All right. On auto. On auto. <laughs> you know what? I, I had I had upgraded to manual by then. Okay. But yeah, it was just an accident of how I fell into photography. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, into uh, fashion photography. Yeah. Yeah, and, so. and from then on out, it's, it's history. Now you're photographer of the year and model of the For year. For birds and squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> well, squirrel fashion is in right now. Can you, squirrel can fashion. you send me one of those shots and I'll put it up? <laughs> Absolutely. You want the squirrel or you want the fashion show? <laughs> I want the squirrel, the squirrel at the fashion show. At the fashion show. I see squirrels fashion shows there. all the time. I got you. I got you. Man. All right. I'll leave you with a quote. I saw this on your grid. Wow on Tori's grid. You will never be criticized by someone doing more than you, only by those doing less. All right? I like that. So, Absolutely. So think about that. Thanks for watching the shot. If you're still watching, thanks for hanging in there. Tori Sledge, photographer of the year. Dominic Ruffin, model of the year. Woo! And thank you guys for coming on. Thank you. And Greg. And Greg. I'm Gregory K. The man <laughs> of the year. The guy, the <laughs> mystery. Yeah, the man of the year. That's what we should have. We should have Man of the Year. Man of the Year. <laughs> All right. Wait, what was that? Subscribe and follow. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe, follow. follow. Yeah, I got my engineer back here reminding me what to say, right? She's giving me cue cards There's back there. There's definitely cue cards back there. Those, yeah. Well, aren't you, no, what you're supposed to do is like subscribe and follow, and you're supposed to like show yeah. right here. It'll yeah, it's like, yeah. bing. Like, yeah. so whichever, we'll give you, a, so everybody like point here and then we'll do one here. You can tell we hate each other. You know? so, We're professionals. Like, yeah, get the hell out. <laughs> Just put the button over Dom's face, yeah. like click uh, here. Right. <laughs>